When measuring snowfall, there are three essential tools you're going to need. One is a snowboard. This is a piece of white plywood. It needs to be white because it needs to not hold the warmth. So something white will reflect off solar energy so when the snow starts to fall, the board will be cooler. Then, of course, you have your measurement stick. This is calibrated to the tenth of an inch which is the proper way of reporting snowfall as opposed to eighths or quarter. Of it. Next, we have a precipitation gauge. This is a standard gauge used by many volunteer observers throughout the state. And normally, when it's raining, it would have an inner, inner cylinder. But for snowfall, it's best to use it to take a core of the snowfall once it has accumulated. So what you would do is turn it upside down and put it onto your snowboard and take a sample of the snow, put your hand underneath there, flip it over, and then bring it inside and melt it down to get what's called the liquid equivalent of the snowfall. Obviously, it's not snowing today. We don't have new snow on our board. But if it were to start snowing, the idea is to measure the greatest depth on your snowboard during that particular snowfall event. It's really tricky to know where to measure snow. You don't want to measure it in an area near a building where snow could blow off a rooftop. You don't want to measure it in the middle of an open field where snow could drift off. But likewise, you don't want to find an area where there would be excessive drifting to get into the picture. So, in a calm event, just pick a rather sheltered area in your yard and take your measurements off your snowboard. However, in a situation such as the recent blizzard, it's not useful generally to measure your snowfall in one location. Rather, you should take a bit of a suite of measurements or a transect through your yard where you take measurements every few steps and average those to get your snow so depth. The, key, the real key to snow measurement, it's a science and there's some art involved and you have to use some judgment at times as to where to measure and when to measure but another key is not to measure too often and go clear that board you're going to end up with the largest total in your neighborhood but it's not going to be a total that can be compared with observations made elsewhere in your region in the state and nationwide for that matter